Hey, what's going on in Nampa today? I'm not sure, but let's go find out next. Wow, so what's going on today? Well, Treasure Valley Dave here, and we're gonna take a quick walk around downtown Nampa and other places, and I thought we'd get started here at the Flying M Coffee House. Mmm, this is some good stuff, right? So what else should I get? Rice Krispie Treat. Mm. So here we are starting in downtown Nampa on 2nd. There's the old thrift store over there. And this is Sunday. It's actually Mother's Day. It's pretty quiet around here. Not a lot going on. This past week, it was uh, one day up at just touching 90 degrees. The next day we were in the 60s. And we had a little bit of rain here and there. Oh look, Nampa's starting to get its own little version of Freak Alley going on. That's pretty cool. Hmm, I don't need any ink today. And anyway, I wear a flannel shirt, so if I had a tattoo, you probably wouldn't see it anyway. Old fashioned barber shop, wow. Uh, I'm enjoying this coffee, that's for sure. Village Square, that's like a little antique mall. Got a downstairs, and I think there's a Thai restaurant in there too. Every time you turn around, it's like a new store opening up. It's kind of cool. And then here's the Honkers Cafe. I think you've seen me in there a couple times. Got some great food. It's a good place to go for breakfast for sure. My buddy Vivian works in there. You go in there and she happens to be your waitress. Tip her extra good, okay? And tell her that uh, you're a friend of Treasure Valley Dave. Oh yeah, so there's our public library. Really kind of waiting for that to open back up. I think they're probably like one of the last holdouts from this virus panic. There's Puffy Mondays. I think they do like, uh, I don't know, ceramics and crafts and things like that. Bit of Italy, I've been in there. That's some pretty good food. Nice to see they, they got a little uh, outdoor seating for those romantic evenings. Then I got a story to tell you here. This building coming up on the right. Downstairs there's these two different storefronts. This one on the right, and then the one on the left. And then there's this huge upstairs. Well, my buddy Jack was looking at buying that. And so I got a chance to go through there, every square inch of the place, including the basement, and do a video for him. I have to tell you, that was pretty much a, a trip down memory lane. I grew up in a building very similar to this. And uh, it's just a different feel. Businesses downstairs, places to live upstairs. It's, uh, it was quite a fun time. I'm not sure what they do with this little square here anymore. This is where we used to have the Christmas tree in the winter. But apparently it got too big of a of a deal. And so now they put the Christmas tree right down here in front of the train depot. Which is kind of cool. Then you get a lot more people in the uh, to come out and celebrate because there's just more people that like to do that kind of stuff. Free parking. That's pretty wild. So yeah, there is our old train depot. Uh, it's a museum now, staffed by volunteers. If you get a chance to come down here and check it out, it's definitely worth your time. Hey look, that guy didn't have a helmet on. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, that's right. This is Idaho. Uh, 
up here for the most part they treat you like adults and let you make up your own decisions seems like a good way to run things yeah so that's the depot museum and then they also let you come over here and you can climb around on these rail cars and that little caboose hiding behind the tree you can actually go all the way up in the top and uh, there's not a lot in that car it's like a little bench and a table and you can uh, open up that window and stick your head out and imagine yourself going across the prairie and I don't know what you'd see across the prairie rabbits and buffalo maybe and there's more of town that's the north side of the tracks over there so anytime you see an address with a north in the address it's over on that side of the tracks and there's an actual real train over there this is a uh, an absolutely a, a working railroad town for sure Ah, what a beautiful day, huh? I think it's about 65 degrees out. I can still get away with wearing a flannel shirt, the old Treasure Valley Dave uniform. And this is the backside of some ancient old lumber yard, which nowadays, well, in fact, yesterday, was the site of the farmer's market that they have down here every uh, Saturday morning and right here on the streets where the big double-decker bus shows up and you can get your coffee and treats there and they got uh, vendors that set up around here there's another part of the uh, old uh, lumber yard over there and they open up those doors you got vendors in there so it's a big community area you know what I'm not seeing I'm not seeing trash, I'm not seeing bums, I'm not seeing, I don't know, anything that would worry me to have me come down or have my family walk around down here. And over here, they just moved in the Sears hometown. Yeah, I know, you thought Sears all closed up. But no, they do have hometown stores across America. Um, one good thing about this one is I had some clients moved in, needed a refrigerator, and almost every place else they went, refrigerators on back order for weeks and weeks and weeks. I mean like, you know, six to eight weeks. And um, Sears Hometown, they had the Kenmore brand, of course, and they were able to get it the next day, or the next business day. I think that was last Sunday they had that delivered. And this here commemorates the uh, the big grand hotel they had on this site. Burned down, yeah, I want to say it's like early part of the 1910s. Just to wonder what that would have been like back then. No air conditioning, I'm pretty sure. But it must have been grand. So I want to tell you about we're having our parade this year. It's coming up real quick, and it's gonna be on this street that we're on now. So this road, right now, it's called Holly, but it changes names like a dozen times. But it's the road that goes down to uh, NNU. So this is where our parade's gonna be. And we didn't have one last year. I think you can probably figure out why. But this year we're having one. And it's gonna come right around here, uh, Northwest Nazarene University, a very top-notch school, as I understand it. And I've got some good friends that, well, a great friend that went there and gives it two thumbs up. What a great street to have a parade on. All these trees, I mean, it could be hot out and you're still gonna be in the shade. You're gonna see all the fun stuff that goes along with a parade. Yep, this is gonna be an absolutely great location for it. But it's not just this little tiny street either. So where we are, and you can see these houses over here on the left, this is the old part of Nampa. You know, the original old downtown area. Well, not downtown, but the old, the old town where your houses are 80 years old. And 
a lot of them have been bought and fixed up and made really nice. A lot of them still need some uh, some of that done to them. Um, and because they're so close to the university, a lot of them are actually turned into uh, you know, little rental units for the college students. So if you've studied the map of Nampa at all, you know that this is 12th Avenue Road South, Highway uh, 45, I believe it is. It will take you down to Silver City, which we need to get down there one of these days too, don't we? This is also where their parade's going to be going. Dang, look at those big puffy... Uh, white clouds what a nice place to be so we're going straight north now but here in a moment we're going to take a 45 degree turn all of old downtown is on this 45 degree and that's how you can kind of tell that we're in the old part of downtown and you keep going straight and you run into actually you'll run into the uh, the old train depot museum but this is the route of the parade that's going to be coming up, I want to say, this coming weekend. So uh, make sure you check out that out. So we've looked at a lot of places in Nampa where you can do some shopping. You know, like small, older, boutique type places. But we also have some wonderful, uh, you know, big places where you can get a, some serious shopping done in a hurry. Um, we're out here at the Treasure Valley Marketplace. And I just want to give you a feel for what kind of places we have out here that um, you can come do some shopping. So I do know that when you're out shopping, you can get powerful hungry. We've got a lot of great places out here. The old Habit Burger is pretty healthy. Well, I've been told. I eat there anyway. TGI Fridays. So over there we have Dutch Brothers too, in case you need that little extra boost for your shopping experience. Olive Garden was just there about a week and a half ago. Over here we've got Target, and uh, I don't go into Target much, but it's nice to know that they're there. You see Old Navy down here, another store I've never been in. You know if they don't have flannel shirts, I probably haven't been into them. Oh, there's Petco. Well, that's a different pet store from the one that uh, I used to go into. Not that I would go in there very much. So what do we have over there? We've got Best Buy, we've got Crumble. You know, there's this place that uh, makes those little boutique cookies. Each cookie weighs about two pounds. Takes about three days to eat. Unless you got some good help. And you know me, I always try to be helpful. Michael's, Famous Footwear, Lane Bryant. I have no idea what that is. But I know Kohl's is right down there. And about where all those cars are, that's where Costco is. And of course, I know what, I know what, all about Costco. You get some pretty good deals in there. Bath and Body Works. Interesting. I gotta tell you, I don't know what half this stuff is, but if this kind of shopping's important to you, well, this would certainly be the place to be. And you know, I guess the whole point about this is that uh, when you live in Nampa, we've got about everything you'd need. You don't have to leave town to go someplace else because we've already got it. And that holds true for employment, education, entertainment, as well as your shopping needs. And yet we're still not that big of a town that um, you know, you get lost in the shuffle. Well, thanks for coming along with me on this little tour of Nampa, checking out a couple different things. Let's see if I can get across here before I get run over. And, uh, you know, if you ever have any particular questions or want me to check anything in particular out for you, just let me know. Be glad to take the camera crew over there and, and do some little, uh, recon for you and uh, if you found this episode helpful or entertaining or if you think there's somebody else that might get something out of this please go ahead and share it and then like and then subscribe because we come out with new videos every week and you just never know what the next video is going to be about it might be something that you don't want to miss out on 
So as always, this is Tractor Valley Dave, looking forward to helping you get home.